Well, one of the hallmarks of Rogers and Associates, it's your perspective that you have to coordinate tax planning mm -hmm. with estate planning and asset management. So I'm curious, why is that level of coordination so critical to you and the clients that you're advising? Well, here again, it comes back to spending. So let's say that we've done a good job of saving and we get to the point where we want to retire and we've accumulated a million dollars. Now, if that a million dollars is all saved in a 401k, which is what a lot of people do because it's the easiest thing to save and it comes out of your paycheck, it go, goes pre-tax, it has some tax benefits today. But if your entire savings now is in a 401k, every dollar that you're going to take out is going to be taxable. And a million dollars will support distributions of $40,000. So $40,000 out of your savings plus Social Security for a couple, which is probably around another 30. So 70,000 of income isn't a bad income, but 40 of it's going to be subject to tax. And because it's subject to tax, it's going to make most of your Social Security subject to tax. So really, you don't have $70,000 to spend. You've got something like 60,000 or 55. Now contrast that with, let's say that we've saved that million dollars in all three legs, using all three legs of the new three-legged stool. So a third of it is in your Roth IRA, a third of it is in that 401k, and a third of it is saved after tax. Now when we pull our 40,000, some of it comes from each one of those legs, and now none of it is subject to tax, or maybe only a very small portion. Now we have $70,000 to spend, or $69,000 to spend, and only 55. So what a significant difference that makes to your spendable income. And what that could mean to you is that, okay, if I'm not going to be spending $10,000 on tax, I don't even need a million dollars. Maybe I only need 800000 because it's saved tax efficiently. So I could retire earlier. I don't have to save as much. Uh, so it makes a huge difference that people just tend to overlook the significance of taxes.